What's up? It's me, Doc, from SampleKings.com. And of course, we're doing our next thing here, which is audio. Now, we're going to record an audio file or some audio inside of our MPC2 software. Now, before we do that, we want to set up our audio first of all. I'm just going to use the audio inside my MacBook Pro. So I've got a microphone on this MacBook somewhere here. Let's get started. So we're going to go here, first of all. I want to go to MPC Preferences. Now, once I'm in preferences right here, as you can see, this green meter go up and down right here, that's my vocals talking into the machine or into my MPC software. That little sound there is a test to test the audio levels, okay? That's cool. You see, my input is the microphone right here. Great. Okay, now we're going to press, we're going to, okay, we'll pull out of that. And what I want to do next is make sure I can see those vocals coming up. So. I want to come to here where it says sequence and it says groove number two. But I see that the first track is the beat. So I want to go here. I'll make a brand new track right here. Now, as we already know, a track can be a drum program, a key group program, a plugin program, a MIDI program, a clip program, and a CV program. All right. But we want to do audio. So you'll see here above the word sequence. We have MIDI on the left and audio on the right right here. So I'm going to make an audio one. So I'm going to make this track audio. I click here now and now it's an audio track. You notice here in the bottom now, I turn the record off, put the record on. You'll notice here that now audio levels are coming in here. The input here is stereo. That's one and two input. The output is one and two, which is stereo, right? You see the king here this is our master output fader right there. Now, we can't hear anything, but what we can do, though, I know I'm only one person. I don't need stereo, so I'm going to come to here, go to mono, and select mono right here. Now, I selected mono. We see now it looks like two stereo pairs, but it really isn't. It's actually just, bam, one mono file. Now, what I want to do, too, also, I'll go back to preferences here, and I want to go back here to preferences for my MPC software. And what we're going to do now is we're going to check on something here to make sure we have a decent buffer. My sample rate is going to be 48 hertz. And then we're going to have audio buffer size. It's going to be about 448. So that's, that's about 9.3 milliseconds. Now, what I'm trying to do here is I want to get it less, as little as possible. Now, the reason why that is, is that when I say something, the computer has to record what I say put it out as a file, and then send it back to my headset. Like when you listen to someone else. That's pretty fast. So we want to cut down the latency it takes for the computer to do that. And by getting a smaller buffer size, it's much better. It spends more time actually on actually doing this audio buffering rather than using other features within the computer to run the other features, like let's see the drums, the EQ, some other sounds I may have in here require more CPU power. In this case, we're getting less CPU power and we want to create less latency, less time for it to be. Wait, it, you said it and it took too long to play back. So we want to get so it plays back as fast as it can as I say it. Now, next, we're going to press OK here. That's pretty good. So now we're going to do a test probably and try to record something. So I would probably come here first, make sure we can record. I see this playback head moving along here, right? I'm gonna make sure we're gonna go to full size of this. So we have full eight bars here. These eight bars are gonna come back to the top again. Okay, good, that's pretty good. So now we know we can rec record. So next what I wanna do here is make sure everything's set up here and we should be good to go. So now this is on record. I'm gonna press record here, but I wanna make sure also that the metronome plays before it starts. I wanna make sure the timing's gonna be right. So we have a metronome that starts, gives us one measure, a click, 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 four clicks, and then we can start recording. So I want to go here to tools. I'll look at metronome. I'll look at count in, and the count in says record. Great. So I'm good for the count in. So let's try this. So it started, and you can see right now, I'm recording the audio file. You see the wave from up here right there, and I'm recording. I'm not rapping or anything else, but I want you to see how this works. This is really important. Stop. 
So I stopped it, and there it is. Now I'm gonna play it back. So it started, and you can see right now, I'm recording the audio file. You see the wave from up here right there, and I'm, let's stop that. So I wanna show you here that you don't see this audio level appear here as it's in record. It doesn't appear here in my meter here in the upper right of the overall audio sound. You only hear it here from this track right here. Now if I turn this off, and then I want to go into here and pull it down, I'll play it back. So it started, and you can see right now. So I'm controlling the audio output. You see the wave from up here right there, and I'm recording. I'm not rapping or anything else, but this is in playback mode. We can record audio directly into our MPC. Now what I want to do here is go over the side idea of recording and playback and hearing it back and recording over and over, we'll say. So here we are in the track, and I want to add an effect, let's say. I'm going to come to here first. I'm going to add an effect here. I'm going to go to uh, Dynamics. I'm going to go here, get the Vintage EQ, no, Vintage Compressor. Then I want to come to here, and I want to get an EQ. So I want to look at an EQ here. I'm going to go to Air Music Technology. I want to get the Air Enhancer. Then next, I want to do some vocal stuff, see how that stuff works. Click on vocal, uh, air technologies. I want to get the doubler first. And then I want to get an enhancer. And I want to get nothing. I want to get the harmonizer. Go to here, go to here. Here we go, the harmonizer. I have four effects applied here. You can't hear a single effect. <laughs> That's kind of cool. But you see my order level here in the bottom left-hand side under audio 001, which is next to our master output. So. This is off, and by turning this on, I'll be able to hear it. Now you can hear it. That's my vocal. Now there's some delay, as you can hear. I'm talking here. Let's finish down. So as I'm doing this, there's some delay there. So let's turn this one off. Let's go here. Close. I'm gonna go to here. Turn that one off. Turn this one off, turn that one off, and I have one compressor on, turn this off, and that's just me straight going to the track. Now, the more effects I add, the more latency or delay in the sound that you're gonna hear. Now, I'm gonna go back into preferences right here. My preferences here. And you'll notice here, the audio buffer size is 1.3. That means from the time that I talk and the MPC plays it back to me, it's about 1.3 milliseconds. That's awesome. But watch this. I'm going to come to here and make it even less. I'm going to make it 3 or 0.3. And that's better. And you can hear this in your headset. I don't know if you can hear it right now. But in my headset, it's perfect. And the reason why we do this is to cut the latency down when a singer is singing and they hear it back in the headset. We're going to make sure it's going to be as good as it can get. So I'll turn this off here. And so what I want to do next is, this is input. I'll play the beat back. So I'm here doing this, just talking. Now watch, I'm going to stop this. And so I want to record. So I'm going to press record. And we're going to start from here. And so I'm recording right now. This is pretty simple to do. You can see the file forming in front of us. And as I talk, it records. When I shut up, it doesn't. And so see what happens? I'm still talking. You can't hear this file. Stop. What happens here, this is in. That means it's in no matter what. It won't play back. I have to... Turn this off, and so I'm recording right now. And now you can hear it back. This is pretty simple to do. Stop that. Let's just record directly into the system. Let's undo this. Now next I want to come to here, not in. That means I'm only going to hear what the input is. We're going to go into auto. Now, let's record again. I'll press record here, and we'll do it again. Now we're recording again. It's kind of cool. I'm recording over the track, and I like it. I want to see what happens while auto comes up on the next turnaround. Back to the top here. 
Now recording again. It's kind of so you cool. see, I'm recording over the track. I stopped and I automatically. It. It's playing I want back. To see what happens while when I record it in order up on the next turnaround. Back at the top here. Now recording You will see again. the view meter here. Cool. I'm recording over the track. Well, the audio track is ready to record and again. I like it. Okay, sometimes a singer makes a mistake. And when they do, we want to overdub. Let's do that. So, we taught you everything already. Let's go to here. I'm just going to come and start recording. Record right here, and we're going right here to play. That's how we do it every day and every day. Any NPC, any place, any time, any way. Any machine, any software. We're the Samba Kings. We're right here. You know what I mean. That's how we do it every day and every day. Any NPC, any place, any time, any way. Okay, I like that. So now I'm gonna go back to the top again and I wanna record a punch and so I'm just gonna play it from the top. That's how we do it every day and every day. And I do it just for you and I don't play. Time, any way. Any machine, pull it back That's to the top. how we do it every day and every day. And I do it just for you and I don't play. Time, any way. See that? I punched in right there in that track. So you can punch in anywhere on the audio track too as well to correct the part. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna press undo, undo here, undo. I'm done, right? We're gonna do something else now. I'm gonna come back to the top and record again. I'll go to top here and I'll press record. You know, girl, you look so hot. I mean, your legs are killing it. And you know, that booty is bootylicious. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna stop and hang out with you tonight. You know, okay, that's good. So now watch this. I'm gonna come over here now, and I wanna keep that. I'll go to here. That's good. Default's good. Custom's good. I don't need that. I'm gonna come right here. I'm gonna add one. Oh, I added a tractor. That's pretty cool. But notice that. Wait, it's blank here now. Let's play this back. You know, girl, whoa, I can record over this track. I've got one track here that's the audio track, but now I'm making a second audio on top of that. This is kind of cool when you want a girl to come in, she wants to sing the next part of the chorus and do the other harmony, or rapper wants to go like, ha, 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 yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Those background little add-ins, this is really cool. Let's try this. I'll go back to the top again. Like this, I'll come here again. And here we go. You know, girl. Oh yeah, you look so hot, oh, baby. You I mean, your legs are killing it. Yeah, you know that booty is bootylicious. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna stop and hang out with you tonight. There you go. Now this is kind of weird. I got a little stereo going on here, so I'll undo that. You know, girl. Oh yeah, you look so hot, oh, baby. I mean, your legs are killing it. Now you saw that I recorded and I made it into stereo, which is kind of funky. So you can have it go on both sides if you want. But here I'm going to undo this. I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to make sure we're going to go. It's a new track. So remember that. That's why we did this. So we'll go back here. We're going to go to one. Make sure it's mono two as well. And I'll come back in. I'll press record button. I'll go from the top. And here we go. You know, girl. Man, you look so hot. She's hot. I mean, your legs are killing it. Word. And you know, that booty. Oh man, it's bigger than that. Uh, I think I'm gonna stop and hang out with you tonight. I was gonna do it myself. You know, girl, so we'll play it back now. You know, girl, man, you look so hot. She's hot. I mean, your legs are killing it. Word. And you know, that booty is bootylicious. Oh man, it's bigger than that. Uh, I think I'm gonna stop and hang out with you tonight. You know, girl. Okay, there you go. So I got two tracks. I can do a third one too if you want me to, but. At home, you practice, you can do this. You can record audio in. As you can see, it sounds pretty good. I can get up here and do this. You know, girl. I mean, I like it. I go back to MIDI so here. Jeez, I say, well, I want to turn the beat off, you know? Let's make the beat out. And you know, that booty is bootylicious. Oh, man, it's bigger <laughs> than that. Uh, I think I'm going to stop and hang out with you tonight. You know, girl. Man, you look so hot. So you can see we can play it back also, cut back the... Um, the drums or whatever track you want to cut back and let's hear back the audio parts. You can keep adding audio if you've got a big enough hard drive, but this is really cool to do. 
work on it 